I was gonna make a drink that I called Midnight in Paris, but I'm changing it to Midnight in the south of France because Rachel's cooking French food, but not Parisian food. This is sort of like my little spin, like a little mini made in the glass French sangria kind of thing. So I've got some vodka, orange juice, freshly squeezed, and I put in, I love this stuff, Saint Germain, it's from France. It's uh, Saint, elderflower. It's elderflower liqueur. So it's sweet, but not too sweet. Oh, I love this. So it's citrus, elderflowers, a little vodka, and it looks like um, some burgundy, a nice French burgundy. Yeah. Yes, we're gonna get there. Okay. Patience. See, this is, this is the tough part, because I'm just waiting for chicken in the oven, so I have nothing to do except backseat drive this vodka. See, this is, she's got nothing to do, so I can just take all the time I want, make it a cocktail. I got 20 minutes while chicken's cooking. So I'm gonna dance around with my shaker. I'm gonna go over here. You can't see me now, you can't see me. Oh, but now you can see me. And that's pretty much what life's like here. Anyway, so you, now pour this in, uh, I have these nicely iced down wine goblets. You may be asking why one of them doesn't look like the other. It's a very One of them was not story. made for ice. It's a very delicately made, hand-blown, it was a piece of glass. And the ice was too brutal for it and it shattered and the ice went all over the floor, which John really loves to do, throw ice. So we used to have two of these beautiful glasses, now we just have one because I'm I not touching it because I don't want to ice in it. I don't want to hear it. So now we top this off. My glass is from Pier One. Le Pier Un. It's a very fancy <laughs> south of France uh, store, I've heard of it. And, and mine was given to me by my Auntie Gloria. Um, and she was replacing the ones that we had broken, even of the Pier 1 glasses. Oh, happy new year. So we top it with some nice light French red wine, and then top that with club soda. That is gorgeous. It looks like a tequila sunrise. So I am now adding a twist of orange peel, which I simply do get one of your veggie peelers, get a little bit of that skin off of there, and then once you do, twist it over the top. You know, I think we're being entertaining, but we also have to be instructional. This is very important. People want to know how to make these cocktails. Yes, of course they do. And I'm actually not even going to stir that. It just looks so pretty. I think it's very pretty the way it is. Do you want a straw? No. All right, good. I prefer just the goblet. Yeah, you can have a nice No, goblet. I don't want anything. You're afraid of a nice goblet? Yes, I am. It's going to explode. All right, I'll give I you don't... the... the... Less uh, no, don't. Just, just air cheers. Safe distance. Oh, it didn't. That could have shattered everywhere. Anyway, here's Anyways, the beautiful midnight in Provence. 